welcome to my channel. My name is Emma, and I have my cousin here. Yes. Wiz. <laughs> and today, <laughs> and today we going to share with you guys some Haitian food. It's um, it's pate in okra. I think it's called okra or akra, akra. So we going to eat, and we also going to talk about whatever comes to our mind. Yeah. Um, it's really good. It's it's delicious. It's it's so good. It's probably the best fish and pate in Palm Beach, Florida. In Palm Beach, in Palm Beach. Um, so yeah, let's eat and let's talk. Um, yeah. I have Opa. She doesn't like this. I think it's poor people food. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> the size of this pate. Whoa, if you want to diet, don't eat it. Yep, this is not. This is all these are fried food. So, if you want to diet, do not eat this. This pandemic thing. Well, at first, it was, it was like, oh my god, I think we're all gonna die. <laughs> but now, since um, we see how people are getting better, recovering better off of it. We have hope that we're gonna be okay. Yeah, well, at my job, they're gonna test everybody. Monday. Okay. You work Monday? No, but I'm gonna blame. And they test it? Mm -hmm. And the way they do the test, they stick a long cotton swab up your nose. It's almost like the flu. Yeah, but it's long. I heard it's long. I don't know, I've never got the flu test. I did when I when yeah. I had the baby. Yeah, it hurt. Terrible. It didn't hurt. I was like, okay. Um, when I had the baby, I had the flu, and um, when I was in the hospital, they didn't know what it was. Thank God. Um, oh. um, this thing wasn't going on yet because if it was, they probably would have put me in a room by myself, thinking it's the mm -hmm. virus. But it was um the flu. So they're like, oh, the lady was like, the nurse, she's like, oh, um, we're going to do the flu test for you. It's not, it's fast and it's just a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt. Let me tell you. I'm feeling one, ten. Oh, that was really ten. A uh, ten. She, 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 she didn't, like, she didn't even tell me, oh, I'm going to stick it in your, your, your nose now. She just stick that thing up my nose and then there's something in there. I think they put something in it. It burned, it, it hurt, it, I don't know, it was uncomfortable, I started sneezing, like non-stop, I was gym, what, what, gym, what, <laughs> yeah, it was uncomfortable, and, and it, even like four or five minutes later, you still feel the thing in, in that one, one hole. Because it goes in and down, it's going to the, your throat or something like that, I don't know. But I mean, I don't think it went that far, but it, it, it was uncomfortable. Yeah, it was. I'm scared. I don't know what It's mandatory? If it wasn't mandatory, it wouldn't get it. Yeah. I don't know. We both um doing this thing. I felt I didn't work. I was home with my kids. Um, I think she was still working. She didn't take a break. But I didn't work at first. But a month later, because I think we had to stay um, quarantined for two months. Were we inside for two months? Mm -hmm. The things were closed. But the month. world shut down like for two months. Yeah. yeah. So the first month I didn't work, but the the beginning of the second month I started working, but I'm only working part time, so which is only three days a week. So it's not that bad and my job is different. So they don't close to the they're not open to the public really. And um and then while we were home, what I was doing to stay um to stay busy, I started cooking more. Like I learned. This is so good. So if we start talking and then we just be quiet. <laughs> it's because of the food. <laughs> yeah, so I started cooking more. And then I started, um, <clears throat> one day I made 
some doubt on a kid. It's my coming. <laughs> and then I did my hair one time. I clean more, like, you know, some places in the house, some corners that you don't clean every day. Mm -hmm. I end up cleaning them. What else? I think that's it. And I said, oh yeah, TikTok been alive. Popping. We both on TikTok, so you should guys, you guys should follow us. <coughs> What's so good? <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that inside. It looks like it's spicy. It's good. It's not so spicy. It looks like good spicy. You guys, you should try um Asian party, but not the one that they sell at like those fancy markets. The one that fly, the one, the shoji one, the one that people make at home. They should put um the person that made the party in the bowl. It's yeah. my cousin. I'll put her information in the description box. So if you somewhere near, you can get some. Even the Bali is just good by itself. I haven't even gotten to that within part yet. Um, what she put inside is hot dog, eggs, and um. I didn't say ounce saw in English. Oh, well, I also made it too? Not in these. Oh. First she made it. I told her I didn't like ounce sauce, so she had to make it. Who told you she makes them? She put ounce and hot dog? Ugly. Why did you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just... Anyways, um, ounce is herring. Smoked herring. I don't know, but I hate ounce I love it. I always hate it. Especially in Haiti. In spaghetti? They love being oh. spaghetti. Yeah, I hate like putting so good spaghetti. I don't like it. And I don't eat this side of the patty. I only like eating the meat part. <laughs> what? You don't eat, wait, what? You talking about the corners? Yep. You don't eat none of that part? Nope. <laughs> what? She's wasting food. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I mean, I don't care for it either, but that's why I'm eating it first because. If I eat the young food, definitely not to eat it. Mm -hmm. So good. It's so good, yeah. Like, you definitely, like, if you haven't tried Haitian food, you definitely have to try it. I know people be saying, oh, Haitian food is bad, Jamaican food is better, or Jama Jamaican food is bad, Haitian food is better. Yeah. I don't think that's, that's the point. The point is, it's who cook the food. Like, because I can cook this pate and you have it, you're like, okay, pate is terrible because I don't know how to make pate like that. I mean, I can make it, but it's not going to be as good as hers. But if she make it, it's definitely that good. The same way, too, if somebody else, if somebody who doesn't know how to cook makes some Jamaican food and you're like, oh, it does, it's not good, it doesn't taste good. But if somebody who cooks really good, like the elderly, you like, oh my god, it's so good. So I and think also, it, it all depends on who cooks. I think food. Haitian food is in one lane. Jamaican mm -hmm. food is in a different lane. Yeah, Haitian food different has stuff. Haitian food has their own has its own taste and flavor. Jamaican food has their own taste and flavor. Yep. So like you can't really compare the two because they're not the same. Yep. So and we both been to Jamaica and the food was good. Yeah, we like Jamaica. It was so. amazing, no complaint. Yeah, it was really good. So you guys need to stop saying that that. that. <laughs> sure. So tell me Emma, one place you wanna go or go back to when you feel like the world is I I don't think it's ever gonna be back to normal. Yes, yeah, it's cause... hard to be back to normal now because scared. Yeah, oh. it's going to be to know back to normal if, if they have a cure for that virus. Yeah. Which they don't yet. Where are you going to go? Is it first? Where are you first booking your plane ticket? Well, I have a ticket for New York. Oh, yeah. It's for New York? Yeah. You booked it? I, I did. You know, okay, it was supposed to be for Mexico. Mm -hmm. And then I booked it for, for New York. And then, um, because of this whole thing, I canceled it. So now it's, it's for where we're going. Yeah. 
Especially if you go with somebody that knows the area, like my best friend Frederica. Hey Frederica, hey, shout Frederica. out. <laughs> <laughs> if you go with somebody that you know and you trust, um, it's a lot more fun. Yeah, somebody roots from there. That's how I was saying. Thank God, um, we still have a job. Some people don't have a job to go back to or lost their job. And this money they're giving is not enough to do anything. We're grateful, but we need more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mm. This is so good. I wish you guys could have some right now. Food. I think I need a spoon. <laughs> mm. Are these not like those other pates where they put some Haitian? Yes! Oh, yeah. They put no meat. Some Haitian be doing that to people. They selling you those pate <clears throat> that has more fallen, more flour than meat. But hers is not like that. It's filled. <clears throat> it's filled with meat. Look at the pate. Like she literally took her time with it. You can tell. Yep. You guys gotta support your local businesses, your yeah, your small businesses. Yeah, cause if you have a small business, you know how hard it is the first um, if you the first few years. It's hard to get you know your your clientele. Exactly. So support, support, support. Yep. And then she's doing this all by herself. And she started from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -mm. Yeah, but it's not like a scary spicy. You know, when no. something just like so spicy, you can't even talk. And, and it's a little more spicy for me right now because the pate inside is still hot. So, you know, when something's spicy, it's mm -hmm. hot temperature. And then it's just more hot. To me, at least. Yep. What else has been going on? Um, I don't know. Oh, we said we're gonna do a pass. Smash your pass. Smash your pass. Okay. I got one for you. Are you going to smash or pass? Um, Chadwick. I don't know what that is. I shouldn't even be doing smash or pass. Oh, it's when you're married? <laughs> but it's a game. Mm -hmm. um, Chadwick. Um, the way he looked before. I don't even know. He lost so much weight. I'm probably for a movie. He looked bony. He looked for a movie, right? I don't know. The way he looked right after Black Panther, yes. I'll smash, but the way he looked now, so skinny, like he looks sick. I'll pass. Mm -hmm. What happened? You never asked me? Oh, <laughs> oh um. Who? Jason. Jason the Wolo. I would smash. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he seems oh, funny. I, I know. I think he's chill. I think he can get along with anybody. He does. See, I give you somebody cute. Charlie. And hot. <laughs> Charlie's not ugly. Man. He's probably got coming out with the movie. He just, he looks serious. <laughs> you need somebody fun. Next person. About. Michael Ely. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he plays, remember, and I don't want to tell you from what movie because you're going to be like, pass, but Four Colored Girls, the one that dropped the kids. But, no. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not in that movie. Him from. Okay, he's cute. Mm -hmm. He's cute for an old man now. He's old now. 
Stop it in his 50s. 50s? Yeah. Shadow getting in his 50s. It's the melanin. <laughs> Bye.